In Revelation chapter 2, we have the first of seven letters to the churches in modern-day Turkey. Each letter, given by Jesus to the Apostle John, tells the successes and failures of each church and issues a call to repentance. Bible scholars agree these letters are prophetic, warning Christian communities today of things that can lure us away from our faith in Jesus. The first church in Ephesus is betrayed by truth and integrity, but their love both toward the Lord and His people has grown cold. To the church today, it emphasizes the importance of truth and love, representing the balance that we find in God's Word. In Smyrna, the Christians lived with poverty and persecution. And while oppression and hardships continue to impact present-day churches, Jesus says the time of suffering is short when compared to the promise of eternity. Pergamum was a city known for pagan practices. The church there was strong in faith, but was compromised by cultural influences. It reminds us how easily we allow culture to influence the church and that we should stand firm against evil in our world today. And the church at Thyatira was growing in faith and service, but a false prophet was leading some into idolatry and immoral behavior. It's a warning to the church today that in the last days, false prophets will come and that we should be prepared to hold on to the teachings of Jesus. And there are three more letters to come, but here's what I'd like to leave you with from Revelation chapter two. After each letter, there's a promise, a word of encouragement from Jesus to show his great love for the church. This one's from chapter seven. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God.